97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Now, as expected, following the exit of the former governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Henry Kofi Wampa, the president, John Mahama, has appointed a new governor. He is uh, Dr. Abdul Nashiru Isa Ayako. Now, the president made the appointment yesterday, and this takes effect today, the 5th of April. So let me walk you through the profile of the new governor. Now, the new governor holds a master's degree in agric economics. He also has a PhD in political science. Now, prior to um, taking the position of um, governor of the Bank of Ghana, he was first noticed in the scene here in Ghana when he was made the acting CEO of EDF. After he became the CEO of EDF, he was appointed as the second deputy of the Bank of Ghana. At that time, the Bank of Ghana boss, that is the current um, vice president, Parakwesi Emisa Arthur, had vacated that post and become the vice president of the republic. That elevated his past boss, who, who was um, Dr. Henry Wampa, to the position of governor of, of the Bank of Ghana. Now, Dr. Um, Isayaku has served on many boards of the Bank of Ghana, including the Audit Committee, the Research and Economic Committee, among others. Now, a lot of mixed reactions um, greeted his appointment, with some saying he is the man for the job, and others questioning whether his background will help um, the Bank of Ghana deal with the many issues it is currently uh, um, confronted with. For example, the issues to do with cleaning the microfinance industry, which has seen some level of insanity for a couple of, of months now issues to do with DKM, issues to do with God is Love Fun Club are yet to be fully resolved and customers continue to mount pressure on their members of parliament as well as government to deal with this issue. There's also the issue of inflation. The Bank of Ghana, one of its core mandates is to um, deal with or target inflation. He also has to deal with the banking industry proper, stability of the industry among others. He's also faced with issues to do with the currency that is the CD, which has seen some level of depreciation last year. It has been stable for the first quarter of this year. He is also faced with the issue of spending by government. It is an election year and as it is expected that government will go beyond its means and spend. We also have the IMF deal and he has to ensure that we stay in line with that. The next review, which will be third, the third from the IMF, is expected to happen this month. So Dr. Um, Isaako is faced with all these challenges. Some economists have said that his background as a political science person as well as an agric economist may not serve well for, for this interest. But a lot of others who also think that he will do well because he's had some level of experience at the Bank of Ghana. Remember, he served at least two years at the Bank of Ghana as a deputy governor for, for that matter. Questions have also been raised about his political affiliation. Remember, Dr. Isayaku, at a point in time, a couple of years or years back, did contest an, an MPC as an NDC uh, um, person. So questions have been raised about his independence and whether he'll be independent enough. Remember, as the BOG governor, he will serve the third for four years and cannot be dismissed by the president. So all these issues have come up on whether Dr. Isayaku can deal with these issues and many more that is likely to be confronted as the BOG governor. So that's a brief um, profile and uh, how things have panned out around this gentleman before his elevation as um, the governor of the Bank of Ghana. My name is Vivian Kai Lopez.